Why, hello there, friends, fellows, foes, um, whatever other living creature is actually watching this video right now. Um, I recently made a video on how you can play kernel level anti cheat games in a VM by using Hyper V and nested virtualization and GPU partitioning. Uh, this right here, and how can I see these comments? Um, hello, comments. Yeah, there we go. Somewhere there were some comments like, um, okay, never mind. I don't know where these people actually, I believe it wasn't TikTok maybe. I don't remember. Either way, it doesn't really matter. Some people said, oh, but now that this video is out, they're gonna patch it immediately or things like, you're gonna get banned, but not right now, in like six months, because they do ban waves. Um, sure, I guess, but um, no, not really. And once I could have just ignored that and just lived on, I don't really have any ideas for what videos I can do anyway. So I thought, hey, I'll just try to explain to you why this isn't really a patchable thing. So, yeah. Oh, by the way, if you have any wishes or ideas of what videos I could do, just comment them down below. Um, also, I'm terribly sorry for my really horrendous uh, upload schedule. I work 10-hour shifts, and most of the time I just come home, eat something, maybe take a shower and, I don't know, go to sleep or something, whatever. It doesn't really matter. Um, yeah, so if you have any ideas, put them down in the comments. Thanks a lot. Now back to the actual topic which I've wanted to show you, thing I wanted to talk about, I guess. Um, so first of all, with, with virtualization there are two types of hypervisors. There's the type 1 hypervisors with, to the likes of Proxmox, ESXi, uh, Unraid is like that too, I believe. I've never had anything to do with Unraid, so I don't fucking know. But yeah, something, these types, the ones which you install onto your computer or usually your server to just run virtual machines. You don't have any GUI like this. You just have maybe one console on the server itself and then a web GUI, so like a web page you can access and then create VMs, containers, configure your uh, clusters, storage clusters, whatever not. And then there's type 2 hypervisors like Oracle VirtualBox, so like application virtualization software. Yeah, basically. Whatever runs on top of your Windows. Like if I were to install VMware Workstation onto my PC, that's a type 2 hypervisor. Now, Hyper-V might seem like a type 2 hypervisor because, well, I can just install it and it's on top of my Windows, but not quite. We'll get to that, but first of all, I'll kind of try to show you how or what the difference is. Um, I've made this, this little uh, really quite ugly uh, graph thingy. <laughs> um, you see, the difference between the Type 1 and Type 2 hypervisor is the Type 1 hypervisor, uh, it's a physical computer, obviously, then you have your UEFI BIOS, whatever, not, um, and then there's already the hypervisor, like Proxmox, ESXi, whatever. Um, so, there's no real operating system besides that hypervisor. Like, this thing will do nothing but create and run VMs and containers. And then above that is VM, your VMs and containers. Uh, the big advantage to that is you basically have no overhead. You have near uh, bare metal performance if you configure your VMs correctly. Um, you can actually utilize these really powerful servers because you can just create as many VMs as your server can handle. And you also have hardware, uh, hardware virtualization. Unlike Type 2 hypervisors, which are the same physical computer, UEFI BIOS, and then there's an operating system like Windows 10, Windows 11, Linux, 
whatever you run, maybe even Mac OS, but honestly, I hate Mac OS. I know it's controversial, but I find it extremely user unfriendly. Like, I have a MacBook. I genuinely find Linux, Arch, whatever, so much easier to use than Mac OS. Of course, it may be because I've hardly ever used that thing because I have a ton of laptops which are for my needs better but uh, anyway back to that and then on top of your operating system you have your hypervisor in uh, these little symbols I don't know what they're called in English whatever uh, VirtualBox, VMware, Workstation, whatever uh, they can't they don't have the same access to your to your actual hardware than a type 1 hypervisor they and there's not a ton but there's certainly overhead uh, just of course they're absolutely fine if you just want to test some software so long as the software doesn't need any graphical uh, acceleration you're probably gonna be fine and it's way easier to set up something like this than to go out of your way and build an entire Proxmox cluster for example now as I've already mentioned Hyper-V might seem like a type 2 hypervisor because well, I can install it on top of Windows and it runs VMs in Windows but it's actually not once you install Hyper-V on your desktop your desktop is converted into something technically a type 1 hypervisor but not quite so now you might ask, but why do I still have Windows on there then? Well, I have Hyper-V installed on my on this system. What happens is your entire Windows 10 will be something like a privileged VM. So basically, this entire operating system, as you that you can see right here, is a privileged VM called the root partition, if that matters to you. By the way, if you want to really get into the depth of it, I will link these two uh, Microsoft documentation pages into the bio, so I, these are also mostly my sources. You can just read all of this technical blah blah, but I wouldn't recommend it, you probably won't understand it, because honestly, Microsoft, they, docu doc they document a lot, to be fair, but Usually their documentations are just so complex that even I don't really know what they want from me. Anyway, back to that. So yes, it is technically a Type 1 hypervisor. Now, why can't people, some Valorant or whatever, what Riot Games I believe is behind Valorant, why can't they patch this? Well, you see, if they patch this, first of all it's already hard to see above a nested VM, especially one with Hyper-V because Microsoft Hyper-V, like Hyper-V is available on Hyper-V servers, so that's enterprise great shit. If companies were to try and figure out ways to detect such VMs, I'm pr I don't know if Microsoft would just not care, but I think Microsoft would probably sue them or just tell them to stop. Then there's the other factor that Hyper-V is a type 1 hypervisor, so if Vanguard, Riot Games, whoever, were to actually start banning people that based on Hyper-V detection, whatever you want to call it, they would ban every single player that has Hyper-V installed on their system. Not just the ones that are actually running, like intentionally running the game in a VM like we are doing, or we did and I did, but just everyone. Because, as I've mentioned, this entire system, even though it's bare metal in asterisk, it's technically a VM. It's a privileged VM in Hyper-V because... Microsoft's Hyper-V is something like a Type 1 hypervisor. Usually it's called Type 1.5 hypervisor because it operates on the uh, on level minus 1, I believe. Uh, it doesn't matter. Technical technicalities, but yeah, that's kind of 
the two main issues. It's enterprise grade shit. It's really hard to actually see above it. And Microsoft will probably freak out if companies started doing this. And second, they would just ban everyone who has Hyper-V installed on their systems because they're technically running a VM. <laughs> so yeah, that's why they will probably never patch this. Uh, yeah. Somebody also pointed out to me that it doesn't work anymore on Linux uh, because someone made a video about, about it, uh, f I think a few years ago. I haven't seen the video and to be honest I wasn't able to test it because I only have one GPU in my PC as of right now and I just honestly can't be bothered to buy a second one just for one test but I'm pretty sure if you actually enable Nessus virtualization and do PCI pass through or if you have an enterprise grade graphics card uh, S uh, SRIOF I believe it's called like just GPU partitioning right in the hypervisor. I don't think they can detect you still. Like I'm because I did this in the past and it worked and but again I haven't tested it so no guarantees on that one. Either way that was that me yapping on about hypervisors and why Riot Games will hardly ever patch this. Um I hope you've enjoyed this. Um Please leave me the, any kind of ideas for new videos. Uh, yeah, sure. Just... And most importantly, enjoy your day. Have a good one. Dear friend, foe, fellow or alien creature, see ya!